Okay, so this is another earnings per share calculation problem. Uh, you'll recall that earnings per share, what we're trying to get at is earnings per share for common shareholders, right? So what are the common shareholders getting as a return for the year basically on their money? What what uh, per share of stock, per share of ownership, how much you know income is actually attributable to that share of ownership? So the EPS calculation involves getting net income, all right, minus uh, preferred dividends, all right, uh, net income minus preferred dividends from preferred shareholders, and then the weighted average. Uh, shares outstanding, and this is for the year. So we get the net income minus preferred dividends over the weighted average shares outstanding for the year. That's how we get EPS. Now these questions are take a while if they're gonna be uh, really complex. And so a lot of times what people will do when they're creating problems is they'll break them up. And it'll be a question focusing mostly on the numerator or a question focusing mostly on the nominator or focusing on a combination of the two, but probably less complex uh, uh, because these things, these calculations can get more and more complex. This is an example of a problem that's focusing more on seeing if you can get this. This is where most of the work is going to come in on this problem. It's figuring out the weighted average shares outstanding for this uh, calculation. So we have a company. A company had net income of 2.5 million for the year and paid 200 uh, thousand in preferred dividends. All right, so these are dividends to preferred shareholders. So they are not part of common shareholders' uh, dividends. So we have to take that out. So in our EPS calculation, uh, we're going to have net income of two five zero 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 minus the two hundred thousand of preferred. All right, um, and that's what's going to go up here for this basic EPS. We're doing basic here, basic, uh, basic EPS. All right, so then this problem focuses on what are the weighted average shares outstanding? So what the, it's actually asking for this, it's saying calculate the weighted average shares outstanding then calculate the company's basic EPS. All right, and what we have here is that over different time periods, there have been different things that happen. So uh, at the start of the year, so on January 1st, if we have like a timeline here, uh, on January 1st, there was a million shares outstanding, all right? So that means at the start of the year that we had that million shares outstanding and that that was issued during the year and that's going to be there, uh, uh, you know, until the next event. So uh, this, this million shares outstanding is from January until April. Because in April, what happens is there's about 200,000 shares issued. So in April, we go from 1 million to 1 million 200,000, all right, shares issued. And so what was the time period? This is a little multiplication symbol. What was the time period where uh, the million shares outstanding was actually there? Well, it's January, February, March, right? So we have three months. So we do three over 12 months, and that is our average amount uh, uh, of, uh, of time that we had a million uh, outstanding. So it's three months out of the 12 months in a year, all right? And then this 1.2 was issued in April, and so it's April through October, October. So April, May, June, July, August, September, uh, uh, and then the 1st of October is the next one. So it's 6 of 12. So 6 of 12 months is how many we had outstanding, uh, is how long we had uh, uh, 1.2 million shares outstanding. Then what happens is we repurchase uh, 100,000 shares. So then our share balance actually will change to 1.1 million. And it will change like that uh, for uh, three months, so three out of 12 months, all right, because we're going from October to December, so October, November, December, all right, so three months. So we have three out of 12, which is one fourth, we have six out of 12, which is one half, and then we have three out of 12, uh, which is one fourth again. And so when you take these uh, and you do this calculation, you end up with the total shares, weighted average shares outstanding of one. 0.125 million 
shares uh, that are uh, that are outstanding. And so that is the total weighted average share. And so just so that you can see uh, each each step on this. Uh, so this is one fourth times a million. So three twelves uh, reduces to one fourth. So this is going to be two five zero two hundred fifty thousand. All right, that's the weighted average uh, equivalence of what that this amount of shares what outstanding is for this period of time. Here it's going to be one point two million uh, times uh, one half basically, which is uh, six hundred thousand. All right, and that's a comma right there. So six hundred thousand, and then the one point one million times uh, one fourth again is going to be about two hundred and seventy five thousand. All right, so you add these up, and this is your weighted average shares outstanding. So we have the answer to this problem right there. All right, but we really want to get the company's basic EPS. And so if we do the basic EPS calculation, we put this 2.5 million over, minus the 200,000 over that 1125. So 1.125 million is the weighted average shares outstanding. And if we do that calculation, what we end up with is we end up we end up with the basic earnings per share of two dollars, two dollars and four cents. That is our basic earnings per share. So we went through and we figured out the total weighted average for this denominator, and we had the numerator. Uh, which was the net income minus preferred dividends. A lot of times people will stop here and think, oh, I've done this part right where I've calculated my, my weighted average shares and they don't go on to finish the problem or the question that's asked. And so it's really important to remember to look at the question when you're done and make sure that you've answered the question uh, in its entirety.